I want to take Amazon, work with their EDI, conform it into information that I can then bring into my backend NetSuite, because we're using NetSuite as our example. All right, so with this, what you want to do is you want to first see if your ERP system, whoever supports that, provides it, any of those types of things. It could be an ERP, WMS, TMS also. I just want to say that. You can ask them, hey, can you direct me to your guides for API integration or interface? They're going to tell you, hey, listen, we have those, that information out on our website. So if you do a simple search, a lot of times you can find it. But it's always good to ask them, hey, can you provide me, show me the link, give me the information for your API, okay? Then the next step is we're assuming that you already know how to look at EDI, how to transform it, how to manipulate it, how to do all those things, okay? So through the API guides that they provide you, they're going to tell you how you can actually interface with NetSuite in this case. So they talk about Suite Talk, so Web Services Platform Overview. And as you can see here, it tells you the SOAP Web Services Platform provides programmable access to your NetSuite data and business processes. All right. And then later on, it's going to tell you throughout all of these long guides what you can do, how you can interface, and all of those different things. So like if you look for an overview, an overview is going to tell you what you're doing, how you're utilizing all of that, okay? Again, this can be overwhelming, um, especially if you have, if you're not a programmer or any of those type of things and you're trying to do this for your very first time. Here at EDI Support, we don't do the actual programming. We utilize tool sets or solutions that allow us to put in this information. Do we know how to do that? Yes. Most of the staff members that I have know how to use Postman and everything else and go through and do APIs. Do we do that? No. We typically use a solution that's gonna allow us to enter in different setups for the API interface um, so that we can then go to that tool set if something's not working and say, hey, what's not working? Can you help us with the development? All of those type of things. Um, so me and my staff, we're not gonna tell you exactly how to do it using Postman and all of that. That's just not typically what we do. But anyway, so these guides, these guides are gonna tell you and they're gonna show you how you can interface. So remember API, the beauty of NetSuite is NetSuite's gonna tell you exactly what all you can do. Since it's Oracle, it has a lot of information out there throughout their guide. Um, it gets pretty in depth, pretty detailed, it gives you structure, it gives you what you need to do, how it needs to look. Um, this is, beyond helpful. I'm going to tell you when you're going through and you're doing these type of setups, you need this information. You need these samples. You need these record type definitions. You need all of these things to help you get the job done. Now, if you've never done this before, I'm going to highly suggest you reach out to a team that can help you do the first one and walk you through what they had to do. Because if your ERP is NetSuite on the back end and you're looking to set up all of your EDI trading partners for integration, once you've set up that first integration, as long as it's the same document, like a purchase order, getting processed in to create a sales order in NetSuite, once that's set up the first time, so a lot of times it's just minor tweaks after there to set up other EDI trading partner purchase orders into your NetSuite system. So why not leverage a team like EDI Support to help you with that first setup? Because as I said, these guidelines can be overwhelming. If you look at it and you see what's going on here, as I said, with the NetSuite, it's going to tell you how to handle the integrations into there. Okay. And as a as a teaser, you know, another piece of this is you can look and you can find other things that are out there, like Amazon. Amazon has their API guides. Those API guides go into how to deal with the different parts of their portal. So Amazon has different portals, different processes, different things that they make accessible. There's vendor, there's seller, there's, uh, they might call it FB 
FBA, FBM, um, for fulfilled by Amazon, fulfilled by Marketplace, fulfilled by seller, all of these different analogies or, or whatever you want to call it that's out there that's for uh, understanding how to interface with their different APIs, they're online. They make them available. You can see them out there. If you're working with a partner that knows how to read through these guides and insert the information or read the information or understands what type of uh, user ID, passwords, tokens, all of those things, they're going to be here. They're going to be in the guide. Some of them might even have web hooks that you have to do. Um, some of them you might have to listen for a response from the API server. I mean, everything gets in depth. But if you're trying to do this your first time, totally by yourself, using Postman, or even using a tool, and you've never done this before, it can get overwhelming. You want to find a resource that's done it, a resource that can help you with it. And it, there's even times that us as resources, we have to leverage the companies and the manufacturers of the products that we're utilizing to make these APIs. Or sometimes we have to reach out to Amazon, or we have to reach out to NetSuite, and we have to talk to them, and we have to say, hey, listen, this is what I'm trying to do, and for some reason, I'm getting an error. Well, guess what? A lot of times they ignore those errors, and they're like, hey, you have to do this. And it's like, oh, the light bulb goes off. I know, what, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're looking for. Um, but what you want to do is you want to have seasoned professionals that help you through that integration to make it as easy as possible because these guidelines and what you're doing can be quite overwhelming.